the uh, floor now is for the uh, uh, ambassador of Sweden in Jordan. Miss uh, uh, Alexandra Riedmark. She uh, previously was the deputy of the um, um, Swedish um, uh, Middle East um, Center, and she is the diplomatic advisor for the uh, the, pre the former uh, foreign minister Margot. And, and she, in her previous life, she worked as a lawyer for um, to settle uh, trade comforts and um and uh, a deputy in bruxelles and at the headquarters of new york uh, un in new york uh, mr ridmark uh, has obtained among many others a, a low uh, degree and she speaks four languages and she has an extensive uh, in, uh, experience in middle east uh, cases a uh, welcome to you your excellency and the floor is yours to launch and open the 13th uh, Irish uh, investigative um, event. The floor is yours. You have three minutes, please. Thank you so much, uh, Ahmed. And um, hi, everyone, friends and, and partners. I'm very excited to be here with you uh, and uh, watching the, the gathering of such an impressive uh, group of people. Uh, I was uh, going to start uh, my, my few minutes uh, by pointing out uh, the challenges that we face in terms of how democratic principles uh, are under threat, uh, institutions being weakened, and uh, democratic space uh, shrinking. But I think uh, many of you are perhaps much more familiar with this reality than I am uh, from my outlook as a Swedish ambassador uh, in the region. So instead, I wanted to give you three messages from Sweden and from myself. And the first is how much we need your work and your voices. Uh, journalism is a vital part of uh, any society, and I think of the different types of journalism, perhaps none is more important and difficult than investigative journalism. Uh, and without your stories, and we saw so many examples in the, in the film, uh, we wouldn't gain a full understanding uh, of, uh, of what is happening, uh, and um, uh, we wouldn't uh, um, be as informed as we could be. Uh, and without investigative uh, journalism, uh, a number of important uh, uh, and sometimes uncomfortable truths uh, would never be known. Uh, and I think your work is a reminder to all public decision makers uh, that they are accountable for their actions. The second uh, message I want to give is how much we support your work. And we're very, Sweden is very proud to have been a partner of our reach ever since the beginning, and we are planning to continue to be so uh, in the long run. Uh, we realize that uh, investigative journalism crosses many borders, and we've also, since many years, applied this cross border regional approach in how we support human rights, freedom of speech, and media in the region. We're just about to adopt our coming strategy for the five years ahead of us, where the focus and, and main aim is really about strengthening accountability and transparency and emphasizing that corruption is really a root cause um, uh, preventing democracy and human rights. Improving safety of journalism uh, and journalists is also since long a, a priority in our foreign policy. And it really goes uh, without saying that uh, all of our work uh, will always be incomplete if women half of uh, this uh, world's uh, and region's potential uh, are not participating and contributing. Uh, we know that female journalists more often face violence and threats and incitement to hatred, often of um, sexual nature. So with our feminist foreign policy, we really work to, to um, uh, emphasize this in, in everything that we do. And we know Arish is working hard on this as well. Uh, I'm very excited to see mo so many brilliant women uh, among, uh, uh, among us here at the forum. So finally, and my third message uh, from myself is really how much I admire your work. Uh, I think to become a journalist, and uh, especially working in investigative journalism, really takes a special kind of courage. Uh, in my early years, I nourished the dream to become a journalist and, and studied a bit, even though the, the destiny took me in a different path. But uh, I'm just very humbled to be standing here uh, in front of you um, and just want to end by um, acknowledging really your brave and professional um, accomplishments uh, and your integrity. So with that, I just want to thank everyone, uh, Arish, uh, the whole team, Rowan, uh, and, and uh, everyone else involved, and uh, really looking forward to the coming days. And I hope to see you in real life next year. Thank you.
This is what we to wish your excellency uh, uh, Sweden Swedish ambassador in Jordan hopefully the 14th forum will be a, a physical uh, uh, forum and we will meet face to face with all the organizers and actors in Arif.